What is up, Epic7 YouTuber, back at again with yet another amazing video. And today, after a pretty decent break, we're going to be discussing burnout and how to deal with it, at least for me. Because I feel burnout is a subject that can relate to almost every Epic7 player and our YouTuber, because it's going to happen, and when it does happen, everyone has their own ways of dealing with it. Maybe my way can help you deal with it, or maybe, you know, you can relate to how I feel about burnout. But today, we're going to be talking about burnout. Starting it off, with burnout, short definition, it's when ultimately you've played something for so long or you put a lot of time invested into something and you just feel like, wow, I don't want to look at it again. I don't want to try to play it again, at least for the moment. And that's like kind of the gist of burnouts when you have no feeling whatsoever of wanting to play the game or you get tired of it. You can get burnt out with anything in life, really. But um, speaking of Epic 7, burnout hit me really hard. And I'm not even that far into the game. I'm a couple months into the game. Maybe four or five months-ish. I don't even think that long, honestly. Maybe, maybe three months. Either way. With burnout, I'm just going to go ahead and say it off the back. I am not through all the content in the game. But I'm through a majority of the normal content. Normal Story, Episode 2, the... um unrecorded history majority of the um hunts i'm done with i'm not at the very bottom of the hunt list at hunt 11 for everything because i'm nowhere near that i'm at the point in my account to where i am constantly grinding gear just to pass the next floor of abyss and yeah as it sounds it gets tedious it gets very tedious when you have to just constantly form out gear and no that's not me complaining about oh man i have to do this it's more of after like the 20th to 30th, maybe even 50th time of running the exact same hunt just to try to get some gear and are trying to craft gear like for, you know, a week straight. You get to that point to where it's like, man, I don't want to try and progress in the game. I don't want to look at the game. I just want to divert my attention from it and continue on with life, you know, do other things because I'm not getting anywhere in the game in general. And yeah, that's a very bad way um, to look toward a game because you're not going to get any progress in it. But you can't really force yourself to enjoy a game once you've enjoyed majority of content that kept you on that game. Me being not only the story, but yeah, the hunts, abyss floors and stuff like that. But like I said, after a 30th time forming an exact same hunt just to try to craft a specific piece of gear that'll make you do a little bit better than you did before to pass the floor... And then do it all over again. It gets um, tedious. I don't know why I let it lock like that. But um, what I did come back to though is um, the Automaton Tower. And I was so happy when it dropped. But within like two hours I got to like floor 77. And I'm going to push to finish it. Why? It gives some incentive. Because if you guys don't know. If you complete all the way up to floor 100. That is a whole moonlight summon so everyone should go ahead and push to floor 100 if it's possible if it isn't possible don't worry about it It resets every month which kind of sucks in the long just of it if you get close to it and you can't complete 100 and it resets but hey you're just gonna get better overall in the game eventually you're gonna progress but um apart from that it's just the idea like the only thing that keeps me in the game is the fact that I pull certain characters, it's like, I'll pull this character, I have like nine copies of it, so I feed it, throw it to the, you know, bunch. And then I pull a brand new character, level it up within a day, make a video the next day, and after that, I have nothing to do but try to make that character slightly stronger for another video. Um, as of now, I just pulled another character, I'm not gonna show her off yet, or show the character off yet. But, um, it will be a video coming out soon, and... I hope that she does as good as I want her to, because in the case that she does, she might be put on one of my hunt teams, not only that, but one of my arena teams, move out of the way, whatever that is, probably should turn notifications off altogether, but um, I'm just making this real quick, that way I can, you know, I'm not justifying me not making videos, but I'm going to give the gist of how burnout works and how it affected me, and um, how I dealt with it, but um, overall, the new drop banner is out for Lilibeth, and I'm happy about that, so I'm going to try to summon for her if I pull her. I'm going to make a video if I don't pull her, not going to worry about it too much. She's an Earth Warrior, and I have Charles, even though he's a Knight, 
he can do. But, um, depends on how good she is. But the way I really dealt with burnout, I, like I did, like I do every time. I focus not on the game, but on other things. I'll play another game, I'll focus my time on doing something else productive. And, um, yeah, that's really about it. Um, what can I say to end this video off? If you guys go through burnout, don't feel down about the game. Don't uninstall the game or anything like that. Don't feel like you have no purpose in playing the game or no reason to. There's always a reason to play. It's just you have blasted through the content, blasted through everything that kept you at the game for the moment. And you're waiting possibly for a next update for something to catch your attention. With that being said, episode 2 is out now. So if you guys haven't completed episode 2, go right ahead and do it, guys. Like, come on. Um, Unrecorded History is there, and I guarantee there's a lot of players, new and old, that probably not even finished halfway through that. So go ahead and do that too. Um, and that's about it, really. Um, expect a new video out later on this week. I'm going to be doing one with my new hero that I pulled. Hopefully, like I said, she on her debut, she does as good as I hope she does. If she does, that's going to be Arena Team Nuker and possibly a Hunt Nuker, so... Put your notifications on and subscribe for that. Like the video if you did like it. If you do agree with a lot of things I said. Leave it in the comment section below on your thoughts on burnout and stuff like that. And or if you don't agree, still leave it in the comment section below. And I'll see you guys next time. It's been Chronic and I am out.